A basic principle of Keynesian economics suggests that during times of economic stress, governments should increase spending to offset the corresponding natural drop in demand. There's little doubt that the U.S. government subscribes to this theory. The problem here is that tax receipts usually decline at these exact same moments, so the government's only choice is to raise revenue by auctioning debt and deficit spending. Since the first quarter of 2020, the federal government has engaged in unprecedented amounts of deficit spending in excess of $5 trillion. Along the way, they've had to massively increase the amounts of bonds that the Treasury has auctioned. Now, under normal circumstances, expectations would be that this increased supply would drive up rates. But according to the real-time pricing of CME Micro Treasury Futures, the current 10-year yield is at a relatively low 1.36%. These are not normal conditions, because as the Treasury has increased the amounts of bonds at auction, the Federal Reserve has increased the purchases of those same bonds. The resolution to this push-pull seems to be on the horizon as the Fed discusses taper. The question traders must ask themselves is will the continued supply of treasuries without the demand of Fed cause a significant spike in rates?